Hey guys, I'm at Dollar Tree. Check it out the new summer stuff. And yes, the patriotic decor has arrived. Most people probably buy this kind of stuff for 4th of July, but you know, you could use it for Memorial Day too. We also have some nice beach decor and I'll show that to you in a little bit. But first, let's take a look at all the red, white, and blue. Lots of nice signs here for 4th of July. I kind of like this one here with the popsicles. I think this is cute. There's some big wood signs here I want to show you too. I think these signs are a great buy just because they are so big. I mean, for $1.25, you're getting a lot for your money. And the designs are pretty nice too. Welcome sign is cute. And so is this one here that says home. The letters on this one have red glitter on them. We also have this one horizontal style. I don't know if there's any others. This is the only one I see right now, but this one's kind of cute. I do like the little vintage truck on it. This one also has red glittering on some of the lettering. Now, if you're going to decorate for 4th of July, you need to have a flag up somewhere, right? They do have some nice large fabric ones here. These are wall hanging style flags. They've got plastic bars across the top with ribbon hangers on them. We also have some smaller car flags here. These are also fabric. Here are sets of three miniature flags. You get three in a pack. They have plastic poles. They are made of fabric. And honestly, these are a pretty good deal for $1.25 to get three for that price. Here we've got some outdoor patriotic decorations. There are wind spirals, wind socks, and some small garden flags. The design with the bicycle is kind of cute. It's a nice kind of vintage design. And there's a second one here with gnomes on it that says, Hooray USA. And it's got fireworks and they're all dressed up in red, white, and blue. And here are the same two designs with the bicycle and the gnome on wind socks. Kind of partial to the wind socks. I like the streamers on them. Looks like there's another wind spiral here with a red truck on it that says Land of the Free. I don't see the matching wind sock, but I bet there is one. Here are some of the garden flags. This one says Star Stripes and Summer Nights, and it's got some ice cream and treats on it. And here's a flag with the bicycle design on it. Very cute. It says America the Beautiful, established 1776. And the last flag here has the truck design on it, and it says Land of the Free because of the Brave. The kind of fun item that kids would probably like playing with. It's a LED light up flashing headband. The stars on it, uh, the red, white, and blue stars all light up, and there are three different flashing patterns. You can either have it fast flashing, slow flashing, or steady. Got tons of patriotic picnic and party supplies here. If you're going to be hosting like a barbecue or a party or something, you want to stock up on the supplies now because you may not find these later. Got some cute felt table runners here. They have a nice cutout star design on them. They're only three feet long though, so you, I don't know, you might need a couple of them if you want to cover the entire length of a longer table. I got some red, white, and blue plastic table covers here. This one's 54 inches by 108 inches. This one down here is pretty neat. It's got a holographic effect to it love the way this one sparkles. I mean, this one really catches the light. This one is also 54 by 108. Here's some patriotic balloons, red and blue with white stars on them. You get 12 in a package. These are some nice little plastic tumbler sets. You get six pieces in each set. The colors on these are actually quite nice. The blue one says party in the USA. And the red one here says God bless America. There's some cute little metal pails here, little metal tins. Be nice for party favors for kids. That's a cute design. I love this one here with the little popsicles and ice cream on it. Probably a lot of nice little crafting projects you could do with these too. And here are sets of three metal pails together. Now I think these might actually make nice candle votive holders, but if you guys have different ideas on how to use these, let me know about them down below. This is a cute serving tray, but I gotta admit it's kind of thin. This is not going to hold a lot of weight. So if you want to use it as decoration on your picnic table, that would be great, but don't use it to carry anything. Got some new kitchen towels here. The first design has gnomes on it and they are decked out in red, white, and blue outfits. The design also has some stars and pinwheels in it. And the second style back here has a vintage truck with stars and stripes, and it says United We Stand and a little wreath on the front. Lots of nice paper plate and napkin sets here. And again, if you're hosting a barbecue or a picnic or something, you might want to get these now and just put them away because honestly, it's going to be hard to beat a $1.25 price point for these. The napkin sets here are a really good deal because you're getting 25 pieces for $1.25. A lot of times these packs are like 12 pieces, so you're getting twice that. Plates vary, okay? The regular dinner plates are 12 pieces in a pack, but they also have some of these larger plates that are only six in a pack. These larger ones would be nice as serving plates, or if you just want larger dinner plates, it'd work for that too. And they've got some paper hot dog holders up here. Those are 16 piece packages. There are also paper trays here with various little patriotic designs on them. Those are six piece sets. And here's a fabric uh, chair cover with a uh, flag design on it. That's kind of nice. These measure 24 and a half by 15 and a half inches. We've got some plastic uh, buckets up here. I guess these are meant to be like ice buckets. So, you know, something you can like chill drinks in at your picnic or barbecue. But I'm sure you could use them in a lot of other ways as well. We've got a lot of nice patriotic uh, red, white, and blue accessories, including these scarves here. These are nice, lightweight summer scarves. Uh, nice, nice way to put some color on, you know, particularly maybe if you're going to like a parade or something and you want to dress up. Our three styles here. The red one has stars on it. The blue one's got some gnomes on it. And then there's a red, white, and blue plaid. We also have some bandana sets here, which I really like these actually. The fabric's pretty nice for these. Um, and you get two different designs in each set. Now, of course, these would be great to wear, you know, as accessories, but 
I actually kind of like the idea of using the fabric from these for crafting projects too. The little hearts with the flags on them are cute and of course the stars show up really nicely. Got one back here with uh, stars and a buffalo check. That's a little different. And then there's also a more traditional stars and stripes pattern. More party decorations here, including some LED light up lanterns and some banners and garlands. Also some more patriotic drinkware. We'll look at that in a moment. These are the lanterns. They're just made of paper, but they've got plastic uh, tops to them. The white one says America the Beautiful and the blue one says USA on it. This is a nice flag garland. It's uh, nine feet in length and it's got little metallic tassels on it. Here's a nice metallic uh, flag banner. Now this one's 12 feet in length, so it's longer. And there's another one back here with white stars on it. That's a nice design. That one is 15 feet in length. I love this six foot garland. It's got that pretty holographic effect that makes it shimmer and sparkle, kind of like fireworks. Uh, this might be kind of cute across a mantle or maybe like around a mirror or something. Another nice banner. This one says happy 4th of July and it's got little stars in it. Now this is just uh, cardboard, but it is trimmed in uh, some silver glitter. So it has a little sparkle to it. And here's a cute one with little popsicles on it. This one is seven feet in length. It's another sparkly one with red, white, and blue glittered stars. And this one's actually strung on a nice uh, white satiny ribbon. See some art and craft items in here. That looks like they've got some sun catcher painting sets, some wood painting sets. There's some foam table scatter in there. That might be nice for crafting. Here's some two packs of party poppers filled with red, white, and blue streamers and confetti. Those are always fun. And there's the foam table scatter. Again, probably useful for a lot of crafting ideas, but uh, you know, you could also use it as bowl filler or vase filler. Here's some little sun catcher painting kits. You get two of each design in each pack along with the paints and the brush. And these are sets of three foldable fans. They're paper fans with metal handles on them. These might be kind of fun for kids to play with. Down here's a pack of three swirl decorations with flags on them. These kind of hang from the ceiling, I guess. More paper plate sets. Now these are kind of cool. They've got this neat metallic sheen to them and they really, really catch the light well, really sparkle. Um, they're very festive looking, the red and the blue. You get eight plates in each set, not bad for $1.25. They also have these nice plastic serving bowls here. Uh, these are two piece sets. You get So you get two pieces for $1.25. You can choose from either blue or red. And over here are some more six piece tumbler sets, plastic tumbler sets. Uh, one says proud to be an American and the other style says USA. They also have some drinking bottles here that say USA and these come with the uh, plastic drinking straws. There's a second design here too that has frozen treats on it. Cute way to take your drinks on the go, you know, as you're out and about on the 4th of July. Here we've got some more costume accessories and I see some cute beaded decorations too. I have to say, I really like these ornament sets. Uh, these are metal star hanging ornaments with wood beads on them. They are cute just as they are, but I feel like these would be really nice for lots of different craft projects. So you have these nice wooden bead garlands here. Now these have these cute little tassels on one end with red, white, and blue ribbon. And there's also a painted wood decoration on the other side. There are three styles here. There's one that's a blue, got a blue star on it that says USA. There's one with a map. And then they do have one here with a little flag on it. I think those would be kind of cute displayed on a tiered tray. Lots of little costume accessories here. They got some plastic hats, there's beads, uh, little foam wands for kids to play with. Kind of fun things to wear, you know, maybe at a parade or something. And here's some nice paper pinwheel decorations. I always like these. I don't know. They kind of re resemble fireworks. I think they're kind of cute. You get a set of three for $1.25. That's not too bad. I might get one or two of those. Uh, they also have some cupcake decorations over here too. Little uh, tinsel decorations that look like fireworks. Down here, we've got some metallic party streamers in red, blue, and silver. Those are nice. They really sparkle. And here's a cute costume accessory for kids. They are little fairy wings, red, white, and blue fairy wings with stars on them. Here's some cute red, white, and blue tinsel decorations. You could maybe use these as uh, table centerpieces. Look at all the patriotic bows here. Now, these are a good buy, guys, at $1.25. These would all cost a lot more at any craft store or even places like Walmart. Got all different sizes here. I mean, there's some great big ones, uh, medium size, and you can get sets of smaller ones too. Here's some of the smaller two packs. Some of these have glitter on them and some are fabric. I like the second one here, actually. I might get a few of these. Probably use some of these bows on wreaths. And actually they have a wreath here. There's a red, white, and blue tinsel wreath right here. It's a rustic styled one. It's got that kind of burlap look to it. And down here are some more tinsel decorations. This flag is kind of nice, actually. Stars have kind of a rainbow holographic effect to them. Here's another tinsel decoration. These are larger red, white, and blue stars. I don't like the way they've done the red and white striping on this. It looks nice. Here's some patriotic window cling decorations. This one has some gnomes on it. It says gnome of the brave, you know, kind of like home of the brave. And here's one with popsicles. I always like the popsicle designs. One with more traditional fireworks. It says sweet land of liberty on it. That one's nice. This one has all kinds of little themes on it. Uh, little red, white, and blue campers. There's a map, some stars, all kinds of things. This folding fan is a nice, cute, and functional item. It's made of plastic and fabric, and this is a nice thing to have on a hot day like 4th of July. 
a nice functional item here. It's a large reusable tote bag. This is a plastic uh, tote bag. You can see it's kind of got a star pattern on the side there and popsicles on the front and back. Now, I only see the one style here. I'm not sure if they've got any others. Maybe they just don't have them out yet. I found a massive banner here, holographic banner. Now, this is 12 feet in length, but look at the size of the flags. I mean, by far, this is the largest uh, banner gar one that I've seen here today. You only get six flags on it, but you know, they're big flags. So I think this is still a very good buy. This one's not quite as large, but it's still pretty big. Uh, it's got uh, eight metallic flags on it. And this one also measures 12 feet in length. It's a fun little LED light up toy for kids. You press the button and you get red, white, and blue lights that turn on while the flag spins. Definitely a fun toy for kids to play with while they're waiting for the fireworks in the evening. Here's some more crafting items. These are rolls of glittered tulle in red, white, and blue. These measure six inches by three yards. There's also some rolls of craft ribbon here. These have that nice kind of rustic burlap look again. Uh, lots of red, white, and blue stars. There's one here with a little red truck on it and fireworks and a flag. That's cute. Each of these rolls measures three yards in length. I think these would be nice for making like ribbon wreaths. What do you guys think? Here's some nice metallic decorative mesh. I like this red, white, and blue striped one. This is nice. And they also have the solid colors here too. And there's some more tinsel decorations here. They've got some red, white, and blue solid color stars. Uh, now these are a little smaller than the bigger three color star we saw earlier, but you know, they're still kind of cute. You can maybe string some of these together to create a wall hanging or a large garland. A few more patriotic signs here. The garden uh, gnomes are actually yard signs. Those have little metal stakes on them. Those of you that like the little trucks, uh, they have some cute signs here. These are actually made of metal, so they're nice quality signs for $1.25. This one has a little cutout sign at the top that says, God bless America. And of course, there's the truck with the flag in the back. And they have a second version here, a welcome sign with a blue truck. Some more metal decorations. These are yard stakes. They've got the trucks, they have pinwheels, there's stars, all kinds of things. They've got some cute hair accessories here too, like the Stars and Stripes headband. These are a really good deal. If you want to get this sort of thing, you should get it here at Dollar Tree because honestly, I've seen this stuff at other stores already, like at Target, and they start at like $5 and go up. So you'll definitely save some money if you buy it at Dollar Tree instead. We've got two types of scrunchies here, some with these little tails and some without. There's another scrunchie with the uh, nice long tails. This one has a stars and stripes pattern. I kind of wish the stripes were wider on this, but I don't know. It's still cute. I've also got some cute heart sunglasses here for kids. Okay, so that's it for the red, white, and blue items. Now let's look at some of the other nice summer decor they've got in, which are the beach, coastal, and nautical items. You can see there are lots of beautiful shades of blue and white in this collection. Got lots of nice little glassware items, including these decorative bottles. These are kind of cute because the stoppers on these are actually shaped. You can see they have little starfish and seashell shapes on the top. Here are some packs of little resin starfish and sand dollars. You get three in each set. These are cute. I feel like you could do a lot of decorating with these and a lot of crafting too, actually. It's kind of nice used as vase filler, you know, in a bowl or a vase, or maybe even in a lantern. More glass bottles, uh, nice pretty colors on these. I love all the different shades of blue, and they have a nice frosted finish, sort of like sea glass. They have little fish charms tied to the necks. They also have some clear bottles here too, and the colors on these are just so pretty. I mean, these should be like up near a window or something so you can see the light through them. I mean, look at this. You can really see that beautiful cyan color. I love these glass lanterns here. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. And they have this rippled uh, texture to the glass. It kind of looks like water. They have three colors. There's the uh, teal or cyan color. There's a clear one and there's a darker blue. I'm not as big of a fan of the clear one. It's just kind of plain, but the two blue ones are gorgeous. Another teal one here that has almost a fish scale patterning on the glass. It'd be so pretty with little tea lights in them or just like maybe little fairy lights. Lots of beach themed wall decor here. A lot of the signs are made of wood. They do have some resin starfish and anchor shaped wall hangings as well. These are the resin anchors, and as you can see, they're actually a pretty decent size. They have a texturing to the surface that kind of makes them look like they're made of carved wood, but they are made of resin. I'm in red, white, and blue, so, you know, these could be used, maybe used as 4th of July decorations too, I guess. These are cute. They're little wooden uh, beaded decorations with wood ornaments at the tips, uh, little starfish and sand dollar ornaments. I think these would be nice on a tiered tray, or maybe just, you know, taking them apart and, like, doing some crafting with them. Some wood tabletop signs. Uh, these actually are nice thick pieces of wood. You can uh, choose from one that says beach or one that says breathe. So I have a couple over here with nautical rope on them. One says love and the other says home. Here's their ceramic coastal tableware. They have a couple different sizes of plates here, some bowls, some cups. There's also some storage boxes there at the bottom. So this is the smaller plate, the salad plate, I guess. It's got a pretty uh, sand dollar coral and starfish design on it. All of these pieces are actually dishwasher and microwave safe, so that's nice. And here's the bowl with the salad plate and the dinner plate. This is the mug, also very cute. I like how they've got this little starfish detail on the inside. That's a nice little touch. These are the fabric storage bins. Now these are collapsible, so you can fold them up when you're not using them. Uh, they have the same kind of nice little nautical pattern on them with the starfish and the sand dollars and the coral. These might be nice like on a bookcase or maybe on the top shelf in a closet. 
our glass and ceramic items, including some little light up lanterns. We'll take a look at those in a second. Uh, there's also some mini pillows here with a pretty coral pattern, and I see some nice tins at the bottom. These fish are so cute. These are ceramic lanterns. They have little LED lights on the inside that light up. I kind of like the fish scale detailing on this one. Uh, they also have a second style over here that's a little plainer. Kind of a fun item too. It's a uh, bell, a ceramic bell, but it's shaped to look kind of like a little buoy. These are kind of neat. They're garden stepping stones uh, and they're quite heavy. I think they might be cement. I'm not sure, but uh, definitely kind of heavy. They've got cute little starfish and seashell designs on them. So some nice little ocean themed tins. They've got embossed designs on the front, like a uh, fish tail. There's a seahorse and a starfish. They've also got some nautical rope around the top for trim. And there's some larger ones here too. These say wish upon a starfish and they've got little starfish on them. I've got some nice mini garden flags here. One has a little beach scene with some chairs uh, and you see the ocean in the background there. It says relax on it. One has an anchor design on it and it says celebrate each day. The third one has a nice lighthouse design on it and it says welcome. And the last one here is kind of cute. It's got a crab on it and it says welcome friends. A lot of nice coastal crafting items here. Lots of wood cutouts. There's some metal wreath forms. Uh, I see some new fabric down there at the bottom too. These wood bead garlands are kind of neat. Uh, they have square shaped beads, first of all, so that's a little different, uh, but they have cute little wood cutout ornaments on them. There's some with seashells. I see one with starfish. There's also one in the back with anchors. These are cute garlands just as they are, but I think maybe I'd paint them in shades of blue and white. Lots of nice little wood cutout items here. Some of these are attached to clips, little like clothespin clips, so they're decorative pins. Seahorses are so cute here. I love the seahorses. Uh, others are just kind of wood cutouts like ornaments that you could, you know, use maybe string on a garland or, you know, use in any craft, really. I mean, there's so many things you could do with these. I love the sea turtles, too. These are cute. There's some fish tabletop signs. Now, these are made of wood, and it's a pretty thick piece of wood, as you can see. Kind of work just as they are. I mean, they'll stand up on their own. You could maybe write something on them or paint something on them if you wanted to. Maybe add a hanger to the back and use them as a wall hanging decoration as well. The new coastal craft fabric. There's a lot of different designs in here. This one has like kind of a blue and green fish scale pattern. And this one's got uh, seahorses, starfish, and coral on it. Here's a nice one with lighthouses and starfish on it. I think there might be a compass design on that too. I can only see part of it though. Here's a dark blue one with mermaids and sand dollars and starfish. That might appeal to little girls, you know, just because of the mermaids. Here's a cute little blue and white anchor pattern. This would make a nice little pillow, I think. I don't know if there's enough fabric though in this uh, one pack. I'd probably have to get a couple of these. Finally, there's a white one here with uh, multicolored starfish on it. Here's some nice hanging decorations. Uh, again, these are resin with wood beads. Uh, they've got nice little tassels on the bottom, too. They come in a few different uh, styles. I like the scallop shell here. It's my favorite. But there's also a sailboat down here that's kind of cute. Or the little wood clips. Now, some of these are actually painted. At first, I thought they were all unfinished. But they do have some painted designs here, like these sailboats, which I think are really cute. So I have some seahorses here that are mixed. Some are unfinished and some are painted. These nautical rope balls are a deal at $1.25. The Target Dollar Spot has these right now, but they want $3 each for these. It's more wooden wall signs here. Some of these are actually really big and a pretty good deal, I think, for the $1.25. I also see some coastal themed bath items. Here's some seashell shaped uh, wall hooks. They are made of metal and resin. Now, I guess these might work as like a towel hook in a bathroom, but you could probably use them in other places too. These are cute little decorative shaped soaps. Uh, soaps on a rope. They got little rope hangers. Uh, there are a couple different seashells. I see a starfish and there's a uh, anchor shape as well. It also has some shaped bath bombs here. I think they're the same designs. They look like the same designs, but the colors are a little different. Got some new canvas wall art here with coastal designs on them. These are kind of cute. First two here say, don't worry, beach happy and high tides and good vibes. Sandy toes and salty kisses. There's a rocky beach scene. This one has some pretty boats on it. A couple shell designs here that are done in a similar style. These would be nice displayed side by side. This one's just got some little uh, wording on it about slowing down and relaxing at the beach. This one has a nice gold foil coral design. It's an abstract design with gold foiling. This one says stay salty on it. It's got the nice gold foil shell. Here's a nice beach scene. Here's a gold seahorse against a pretty uh, navy background. That's nice. Here's some boats with gold foiling. Here's a cute one with sea turtles on it. Although, I don't know, I think it might have been better without the gold foiling. A couple plastic LED light up lanterns. They have uh, little coral designs on each side. Really pretty blue colors on these. I love the colors. These are some beach themed uh, wall hangings. They're pretty big actually. Uh, there's a few different designs here too. There's a seashell, a starfish, uh, there's a sun, and my favorite I think is the little crab at the back. Finally, there's some jars here of actual seashells, real seashells, little miniature shells that you could use uh, just as they are as de a decoration in the bottle or, you know, open these up and use them for crafting. That's what I'm going to do. 
Hope you've enjoyed shopping Dollar Tree summer items with me today. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below.